So we've been talking all this time about screen reader instruction, but you might be thinking to yourself, where do Braille displays come in? Well, today on Tech Tip Tuesday, we're gonna be connecting a Braille display to my computer here with NVDA. Stay tuned. Before we begin, I wanna talk about what the primary goal of a Braille display actually is. Like companies that make screen readers, Braille display manufacturers usually make things a lot more complicated than they need to be. They add extra buttons and note-taking apps and book readers and a 40-page manual to go with it all. There is one thing that a good Braille display needs to do well, and that is to show in Braille what the screen reader says out loud. That's it. Everything else is a bonus. So when it comes to teaching your learner how to use a braille display, don't think of it as I'm teaching my learner how to use a braille display. Think of it as I'm teaching my student how to use a screen reader with the help of a braille display. It makes it much easier. I'm using the Mantis Q40 today because it's such an easy braille display to get started with. It's sold by APH and manufactured by Humanware, but a lot of the steps that we're going to be covering in today's video will work with most braille displays. First, let's set up our Braille display to get it ready to be connected to the computer. Now, when you turn on the Braille display, you might need to go through a few menus in order for it to be ready to connect. What you'll be looking for is usually Braille terminal or terminal mode. All right, so let's take a look at what mine looks like. I'm just reading Braille visually here, so I'm going to start with, it says editor, and I'm going to use my thumb key to see what is in our main menu. The second thing is terminal. That's what I want. Now you can press enter on the braille display, or if you have a Perkins style keyboard, you can press enter on that, or you can press any one of the cursor routing keys to select it. Great. Now it's asking me if I want to connect via Bluetooth or USB. Remember Bluetooth is wireless and USB is connecting with a USB cable. If you or your student is new to this, I would highly recommend connecting with a USB cable. But before I do this, I want to select USB connection on my display. Remember, enter or cursor routing keys. All right, now I'll connect my display to my computer using a cable. It looks like I'm set up on my Braille display side. Let's jump over to my computer to set up NVDA. Now, setting up NVDA is super simple. All I have to do is Control, Alt, and N to turn on NVDA and desktop list. Look at that, it's on. My Braille display is showing me Braille. If this did not work for you, or you'd like more information on connecting Braille displays to computers, sign up using the link below for our screen reader tidbits emails. This Thursday, we have an email coming out with troubleshooting tips, as well as how to get this cool Braille viewer up on my screen. And also, on next week's Tech Tip Tuesday, we will be talking all about how to get started with Google Chrome using NVDA. That's right here next week, Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, if you like this video and want more content like it, use the link below to sign up for our Screen Reader Tidbits emails. These emails come out every week and show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do the most basic screen reader skills. If you want the latest Tech Tip Tuesday videos, you can join our Facebook group, AT for VI Professionals. The link is below. We'll see you there.